Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfeel Automation. Last week we talked about how we created our widgets and we put those in the project for our HTML pages. This week I'm going to talk about how we go about and make the ref IDs for those widgets so that we can call them within our, within our visualization program. Alright, let's jump into it. Alright, so here's where we left off last week. Go ahead and we can close out of here. And then let's go back to our navigation contact tent and double click on it and it's going to open it up right here. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to change these, we want to add an address for this page one. So right now the page ID is set as this default page, page ID one. We want to change this to page one. So go ahead and do that. Then you can save all and go and click on page two and let's do the same thing for this page ID. Go ahead and click page two. So now when you click on page one, it's gonna take you actually to page one. And when you click on page two, it's actually gonna take you to page two. Go ahead and hit save all and then close out of there. And then let's go into the page.page .page content for the first one. So double click on this. And as you can see right here, we have don't have a layout reference. So we want to actually reference a layout. So what we're going to do is go over to layout ID and hit this down arrow and do layout 01. And then you'll see that the ref, the area ID is, is already in there, but we want to do this reference ID and we want it to be page one content. So go ahead and just click on page one content, just like that. And then you'll see that it populates it right in there. And then let's do the same thing for this area right here. Go ahead and click on the navigation content, just like that. And then you'll see that it, the, ref, the ref ID for that is navigation content. The other thing we can do is we can actually change the background color. So for this page, let's do that right here. So go up here, we're gonna change this RGBA colors here. So we're gonna change this from 255 to 204 and then we're going to do the next one and we're, we'll keep that at 255 and then we'll do the next one at 153 and then the last one will change to 1 so go ahead and you can save all and then we'll do the same thing for this this part right here we're going to change this RGBA color to 0 and then we're going to do 89. And then we're going to do 179. And then 1. And then it's going to be that color right there, that blue color. So go ahead and hit save all. And then we can just double check it by highlight, just running your cursor over here. You don't need to click any buttons. And you'll see that the ref ID is page 1 content. And the ref ID is navigation content. That's what we want to see. So go ahead and close that. And then let's open the page.page .page for page two. So go ahead and just double click it. And the same thing applies here. We want to go over to this layout ID. And what we want to do is we want to do layout 01. And then what we want to do next is we want to make sure that this ref ID is page two content just like that and now you can see that that saved it just like that is page two content then the next thing we want to do is the same thing for the navigation we want to go ahead and we want to make sure this is the navigation content just like that and like we did before we're going to make the colors so for this main area this is the second page we want this to be a different color than the white background so go ahead and and go up in here and then put 153, 204, we'll leave that at 255, and then put 1 right there. That's going to be that background color right there. Go ahead and hit save all. And then same area right here, we want to change this background color for the navigation page. Again, you got to do it twice. You did, we did it before and now we're doing it again. 0, 89, 
and then it's going to be that blue color. Go ahead and hit save all. That's what I want to show you this week. Next week we'll get into, we're done developing the pages, but next week we'll get into the configuration views and writing the basic program for this. Thanks so much for watching this week, guys. I hope it was informative. I hope you learned a little bit about how you make those ref IDs for the different widgets that we've created and the pages and everything like that. Next week, we're going to actually dig into the configuration view of this project. So I hope you can tune in next week and, and catch that part of this whole project that we're doing. And if you like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. I've got a lot of other great content that I talk about every week that is very relevant to the BNR product line and some of our other core product lines at Hartfield Automation. All right, I hope you have a great weekend and please stay safe.